today I'm going to show you the brand new Wondershare Uniconverter 17. It comes with some great tools to make your image better in quality. I'm going to show you how you can restore an old photo, how you can enhance the quality of faces, and I'm also going to show you how to colorize it. And I'm not going to do basic colorize. I'm going to do this cinematic. So you're going to make old photos cinematic and colorful. And this will be all done within one click. So you don't need any knowledge about photo restoration or anything like photo manipulation. You just click one time and everything is done for you. So let's just jump right into the video and look at this tool. And then you can decide is this tool for you or not. It's really easy to use. So let's check it out. So here I'm at the homepage of Wondershare Uniconverter 17. And what we want to go is we want to go to the image section. Here we have image. Let's click on image. Then we get some tools that we can do inside the image section. Now in this video, we want to make the image quality better. So what we need to do is we need to go to image enhancer, which you can find here. When we click on add files, we're going to add our photo. So I have this photo here and you can see this photo is a selfie and it's a bit blurry. So I want to make the quality better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this photo. Let me make this a bit bigger here. And on the right side, we have this menu and I'm going to select the auto enhancer feature. So let's click on preview and let it auto enhance my photo and let's look at the results. And it's done on the right side. You can see the after and on the left side was the before. And look at that. Look how sharp that photo got. That looks like a really nice and sharp photo. Now let me go back to the home page and here I'm going to add my old photo. So this is the photo I want to use. You can see this photo is old and the quality isn't that good so let's open this up and then we get it on the left side as the original one and on the right side we will get a preview the first section is the image enhancement then we have old photo restoration and then we have image colorization so first of all what i would like to do is i would like to auto enhance this image that means that i don't do anything i just click on auto enhance and all we have to do is make sure it's selected here and then click on preview and let it analyze this photo and use AI to enhance the photo. The auto enhancer is done and let's zoom in here so we can see this better and look at those faces. On the left side, you can see, we can barely see those faces and on the right side, look how sharp that is. Don't worry about this logo here. It will remove when you export the image, but just look at the quality there. Look how much I zoom in here and look how sharp that looks. That looks great. Let's zoom out here and see all the other details. You can also see it removed some noise from this image, especially the faces, those look great. If you wanna export this image, just simply go to export all and then you can export the image and you're done with your image. The next thing what I would like to show you here is how to colorize your image. Now, when we look at the right side, we can see we have old photo colorizer. Let's click on that one and simply click on preview so we can wait again and see a preview and that is done and look at the result on the left side was the before and on the right side is the after and look at those colors that looks pretty cinematic to me you see all those nice blue tones here all the darker tones look great and if we zoom in on this photo the quality also looks a lot better than the original one again if you want to export this image just simply click on export and it's going to export this image another cool feature is the watermark remover you can use this to remove watermarks from your photo and also videos but you can also use it to remove objects from your photo so i'm going to go to watermark remover and i'm going to select a photo i have this photo at the beach and I really like this photo, but my wife was in the photo and I want to get rid of her. So I'm going to open up this photo and all I have to do is make sure I'm in the image watermark remover and then I'm going to make a quick brush around her. And all I have to do is click on preview to look at the preview. And there it is. She is gone from the photo and I have a beautiful landscape photo of the beach. And all I have to do now is to just click on export, but I would like to go to the converter. Here we can see we have converter. We can select files here. Let's say I want to convert this image. And here we have the settings for the photo. On the left side, we can see the original photo. It's a JPEG file. Here you can see the resolution and the file size. And on the right side, you can select the file format you want to convert it to. So let's say I want to make this a WebP image. So it's suitable for online. And then we can also go to the settings. We can keep the original size if we want to, or we can change it. Let's keep the size, but I'm going to resize the quality. I want to have this a bit smaller in quality. So let's say 75%, click OK, and then we can convert this. If you want to 
batch convert the whole folder. Let's say you have thousands of images and you want to convert them all. You can just select a folder by clicking add file folder and then you can just select go folder and it's going to load up all these images. But for now, we're going to do one and let's say I'm going to have this WebP with 75% and then I'm just going to click on convert all and it's done with converting my image. So here you can see the file size of the original photo and this is the one I just converted. So I made it a lot smaller in file size. So there's a lot more stuff that you can do inside Wondershare Uni Converter. I'm gonna leave that up to you. I will put a link in the description of the video so you can download it and try it out yourself. So thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.